Okay, this is going to be a little uh, demo movie showing the uh, operation of the test set in the ratio and polarity mode using a saved flash drive. What I've done to expedite the movie <coughs> is with the power off, I inserted the, the uh, flash drive stick, which is out of the picture because I'm trying to get focus on the screen. I inserted it in the test set, turned the test set on. The first thing I'm going to do is start a file. Press File Start. It'll say Disk Drive Found. First thing I'll do is enter a station. Now I'm kind of behind the camera, so I may not be able to spell too well, but we'll try to enter Vegas for the station. Okay, that worked okay. Next we'll... Uh, Put west in for the bus. Okay, and these can be anything you want, whatever descriptors you use for these fields. Because, uh, you know, this is for... Voltage, we'll say it's 66 kV. Circuit, we'll call it circuit 11 and last is the file name we'll call it VE with the rest of them A's and return okay so now it's open the file and returns you to the main menu okay the first test we're going to perform is a ratio test and typically on one file, you can do a complete set of CTs, A, B, and C phase. I'm going to do one for brevity, but one file is the same as one data sheet and would hold uh, three CTs at, or more if you wanted. Okay, now I'm at the ratio page. There's instructions on the screen. You can uh, page through the instructions that kind of demonstrate how the test set works and how you would connect it to test a current transformer. Okay, the first step in performing the test is turn the output on. You tap the output on button on the screen. Okay, raise the output voltage. And wait for a result. Okay, there we have, it says 799.672 or whatever that is. We'll save it as a result. Okay, and that completes the ratio test. So then we go back to the main menu, go to a saturation test. I have to know this CT will saturate on the 200 volt scale, so I'll select the 200 volt scale. Next thing I'll do is turn the output on and press the test button, and it will say testing. And then all you have to do is get a cup of coffee or something and wait while the unit performs the test. It's completely automatic, including the saving of the data to the drive. You can see that it's drawing a graph on there. Uh, the voltage output is increasing since it's below saturation, has a high inductive reactance. The, gross, the output voltage is increasing much faster than the current during this initial unsaturated phase of the test. Now if you watch above the current here, when it gets to the saturation point where it's measuring a distorted exciting current, an increase in exciting current distortion, the SAT flag will come on, a little orange flag will say SAT, and of course this is coincidental with the breakover of the knee, and it, you can see that the current climbs very rapidly for a smaller increase in voltage. Okay, the data is now displayed on the screen in those two columns, the voltage and current, and this would be suitable for manual recording at this point, if you want to record it, or it is also now recorded to the flash drive. And that was a complete test. Now I'll, just go to, I'll return to the menu and remove the flash drive. There's a there's a, a uh, example of this on the site, so I won't show it to you. But basically, I have a Notepad file with the date and all the data I entered in there. There's a and there's an example file on the website you can click on to look at. Okay, and that is the basic ratio and polarity test.
with automatic file save. And that is you know, the fundamental task performed by a CT test set. So thank you for watching.